make them you watch them YouTube and they're rats. Yeah, that looks like fucking fun. Just sitting there. Yeah, the swamp rats. Yeah, and then they do, the farmers, you know, when they're overrun with rats, they hire people to come in there. Night vision. You sit in the chair. And just pink, pink. You know, just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they said you can leave them. The farmers will get them tomorrow. Just we're dead all over the fucking place. They must get hundreds of them. All right. It is November 14th. So that means tomorrow is opening day. And I am going actually down south to go hunting, which is kind of funny. Growing up, we always went up north to go hunting. Now I go south. Go to Glenny. Pretty excited. Last year is my first year back hunting in Glenny for like seven, eight years, which is really freaking nice. So I'm heading down to Glenny right now to do some hunting. This is like, it brings back a lot of childhood memories, put it that way. So I'll probably always go to Glenny even after people pass and I pass. Hopefully I can have my kids go there and it's not too far from Alpena either. So maybe I'll uh, introduce them into Glenny and the farm. Um, but yeah. It's a beautiful day. It is beautiful out right now. Couldn't ask for a better day. It's cold and sunny. Tomorrow, I hope it snows a little bit tonight. We have a nice little dusting, which I think it's supposed to. For some reason, every year in Glenny, not every year, but pretty much that I've been up there, it snows the day before um, opening day, at least a dusting, which is obviously what you want so you can see the deer better. But yeah, I don't know if I'm actually gonna do any recording today. Or tomorrow. We'll find out. I got a two hour drive. Uh, 12 o'clock right now. Need to uh, run back to my blind. I've been sitting over here for the past, like, I mean, pretty much since I started coming up here, which is not too far from camp, because obviously when I was younger, I didn't really trail off or go too far out, because I was young. I was scared of the bears. <laughs> How, uh, I'm still over here because I'm scared of the bears. No, I'm joking. Just need to see if the place where I go is still good. But last year I moved the last day because I didn't see any deer over here. Pretty much all last year. Until the last day I moved a couple miles away. And seen quite a few. So I might do that. It's so hard to move away from this spot. It's like I've grown attached to it. Which I shouldn't be attached to it, but. I also brought little Allie out. My dad's dog. Which is probably not smart, but whatever. You know, I don't know where I'm gonna go. And I know it's supposed to be pretty windy tomorrow. Like really windy, like 50 mile an hour gusts. Which sucks. So I need to look up and see where all the dead trees are. Cause I would rather not get freaking flattened. Figure it out. I don't know if I like this, but. Uh, once you think you found a spot, then uh, you walk around and you realize you didn't find a spot, and there's so many spots. But kind of like this because you can see behind me too. This might be it. I think last year I sat over there, but I think I'm gonna move up here this year, get a little more range. There's a swamp over there too. It's a really thick swamp, it's where my dad. Pretty sure it's where he shot his bear. No, he shot a new bear, but 
there's a bunch of these pines over here or they're over there there's a bunch of bear uh there's bear trees in there where they scratch their claws out so the bear coming through here a lot one year i actually did have a scare over here <laughs> this is like i don't know how old it was i think it was like 20 probably around 20 but i came out here i don't remember i was over there more over in the pines you can kind of see into the swamp over there but uh I was sitting there, got out there early, it was like opening day, and got out there like half hour early, 45 minutes, because I want it was opening day, you want to get out there early. And uh, all of a sudden I heard crunch, 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 whatever, it's like, alright, well we got deer moving in. And I saw like 30 minutes till I could even see anything. And it started getting closer and closer, and I was like, alright, well this sucks, I'm not going to be able to see anything. And I was in a little pop-up tent too, which was uh, nice. But you really can't see much in the pop-up tent. You only can see out the windows. So you're kind of like, all right, well, where's this coming from? Trying to look out the window, trying to see anything. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Next thing you know, literally, it's like not even, it's probably like three feet behind me, like right behind my tent. And it stopped right behind me. And all of a sudden it let out this big old freaking whine cry, like... A little baby freaking cub. I don't know what they sound like, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it was a cub. Freaking scared the shit. I'm talking, I shit my pants. Like, my heart was racing so fast. Grabbed my gun. Like, just like... Start praying and shit. Like, oh, baby Jesus. And then, not right after it did that, the freaking right down in the swamp, you could hear its mother freaking knocking and tearing down these dead trees looking for grubs. Just ripping these freaking trees apart. And then the baby cub just kept on moving slowly by me. But let me tell you what, that was a... I'll never forget that time. Uh, I almost shit my pants in the woods. And uh, not that I hadn't almost shit my pants in the woods because sometimes you try to hold her and you can't. And you're like, all right, we're going to lose the sock today. Unless it's a nice poop and you don't gotta use anything. But well, it never happens. Alright, enough of that. All right, I don't actually like that spot. It's too low. So, I'm gonna go right here. It's probably where I was last year. This is pretty much me sitting. There's a, a swamp over underneath that ridge. The ridge goes down like pretty far. I'd say about a hundred feet. It's a pretty steep hill over there. And then it's a thick swamp over here. Really can't see much, but it opens up over here. And if I turn over here, I can get a clear shot through there. Nice clear shot through there. And then to my left behind me, it's a big uh, valley in there. I can see and to the right. Oh shit, almost fell. I got that. And I'm using a, 30-30, which is a 30-30. Using a 30-30, so it's not a... I mean, I can blow through some um, sticks and stuff, some limbs if I have to. I'm not using a 30 at 6 But if I was using a 30 at 6 you pretty much could blow through anything. But 30-30 for Michigan is, like, perfect. Al, what do you do? Ellie, come here. Tail, tail just wagging. <laughs> God. Come on. Freaking little there. drummer girl. Come here.
probably the worst opening morning I've ever hunted for gun hunting. Usually it's really cold or there's a dusting of snow, but she's rainy and about 45. It was pouring out like an hour ago. So we all like sat back down and laid down, passed back out for half an hour. Cause we don't hunt in uh, blinds. We hunt, we're tree sitters. Um, we just go find a spot in the woods where we normally sit, find a tree, scrape the leaves away and sit down in the open. But it calmed down a lot. So we all came out, got out here on seven. So got out here late, but it was a pretty quiet walk. So I'm hoping that it's scared any deer or anything. See what happens. Alright. Eyes are already starting to play tricks on me. I can like see little shadows in the distance. And I swear there's something moving already. It's probably nothing. But I'm gonna investigate. You know, I always uh, wonder about, uh, I wonder if these trees remember me every year. It's kind of a weird thought, but like, I've been coming out here since I was 14, and I'm pretty sure the surrounding areas, like these trees, I mean, I hunt in Glenny and there's a lot of state land, um, like a ton. So it's kind of uncommon for people to walk in the same path a lot so I wonder how many actual people these trees actually see in a year I wonder if I'm like the only human they see throughout the year like every year they just wait for me to come back it's kind of weird but I feel I have to come to this spot every year at least one or at least the first opening day I really have only got one deer here but like I said, it's not far from camp. When I was younger, this is where I'd come because oh, you can get lost out here pretty darn easily if you're not familiar with the area. So this is where I came throughout my younger years. But I think I'm going to uh, change spots to the spot I went to last year and on the last day. i seen like three, four deer on my last hunt. I only went out there one time and I seen three, four deer. I don't remember what it was. But I'll probably do that this afternoon, if not tomorrow. Well, it's uh, starting to rain again, so I'm gonna try to stay out here as long as I can. My fingers are actually starting to get a little wet and cold, so I may head in and uh, warm up everything and go to the store, try to find a poncho, and then head back out. Pew. Dash. Well, might as well give you a tour of the uh, camp. It's looked the same for 40 years, apparently. I think they've been coming up here for 40 years, down here for me. But, yep, food. 
They made that years and years ago. I don't freaking know. But there's a, let's see here. Why, oh, it's Wyoming. They took this to Wyoming for a deer hunt in 97 it is. That's a new one, 2009, or 2019, 11 point. That was last year. The day me and my dad left, I think it was. But this year is the first year they uh, hooked up this in 40 years. Just a battery. I actually have some lights in here now. Normally it's freaking, you can't see a damn thing. <laughs> Only took them 40 years to do that. The wood stove, they made ink a long time ago. Need to stoke that. Wood. Trying to find some more, uh, that's where I'm sleeping. I can't find any more dates. Which sucks. Because there are some, like, dates from the 80s in here. And before, I think. Must be getting too old to see. That sucks. Yeah. I don't know. This was, uh, they got this, like, 50 years ago, 40 years ago. And he was retired from another, like it was like a Boy Scout camp or I don't, I don't even remember, a Girl Scout camp. He was retired from them for 20 years. So these tents are old, 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 old. And they're still, it was raining all day and obviously we had to patch, or they patched them up with duct tape, but still stays warm. This thing will not, I mean, it's been around for 60 years, I'm assuming crazy normally I wouldn't come in till at least freaking 10 30 but like I said it was a wet morning and it was starting to get cold Let's see if my feet are actually wet oh no there's cold good means my boots are working I actually may go buy some boots right now I don't know where the closest place is. It might be, I know there's a place in Glenny. I don't know if it's a sporting goods store. The next closest place is Alpina. But I definitely need some winter boots regardless of hunting or not. These are like, these are like summer, spring boots. These are actually work boots, hiking boots. But they actually, they stayed pretty warm today. With how windy it was, they were like really breathable. And they didn't have any uh, wool socks on either. So, I may go buy some winter work slash hiking boots. Just gonna dry my stuff out. I got this for, these for Christmas like five years ago. My cousin gets military issued clothing all the time because he's in the military but uh he gave some of these to me and uh they're like waterproof and super light and i've worn them pretty much every uh winter usually this is just the outside layer i usually wear and i just wear some like long johns underneath and maybe some jeans but they keep you freaking warm and dry i didn't get wet at all perfect
got back to my blind where I was hunting this morning. I'm gonna go where my dad uh, is going, or that kind of parcel. I think it's like five miles away from here. Um, he's got a lot of buck rub and he's seen like eight this morning. So, I mean, I walked back to my blind to grab my seat. And, uh, it's about one o'clock, so we're gonna have to take off here soon to go do that. But hopefully you can see something. I don't care, just give me something. But it sounds pretty promising over there. So hopefully I can get one. I don't care if it's a big buck or not. I just want a mature deer. Feed the family, you know? It's funny how much food and venison you get off a deer. Like how long venison will last. It's freaking so much money is saved when you get a deer. And I love venison, so some good eating. But all right, yeah. Also, that being said, when I said, I don't care what kind of, if it's a buck or a big buck or small buck, or just want a mature deer. I'm a firm believer in whole foods and I have been pretty much my adulthood life. So I'd say, I mean, I've been always a pretty good eater, but I've said that before in the video, but, um, oh, it's starting to rain. Um, I really, now that I'm getting older, truly believe in a healthy diet will mean We'll give you obviously a healthy body and a healthy mind. Um, so it, I love when uh, I've got a freezer full of venison and eventually it'd be nice to have a freezer full of beef or have like a quarter cow or something, quarter pig. It'll come with time with a bigger house, but it's my goal. Eventually to have a freezer full of fresh meat and uh, like, oh, gotta watch out ahead. It's pretty windy out too. So, you know, you don't wanna have a tree land on you or uh, what do they call them? A widow maker. Limbs, is a bunch of dead limbs hanging. I don't wanna widow my wife <laughs> we haven't even made it a year yet i'd be an asshole to do that but the wind's supposed to pick up pretty good today like towards like from now on i think it's supposed to start raining again um from what i've seen on the weather app so i'm gonna have to try to look around and make sure there's no dead freaking trees at my new spot all right, that's enough. Well, at the new spot, and there's a lot of freaking buck rubs and scrapes around here. There's a buck scrape over here. There's another right there. There's another right there. I wish I would have had time to make this a little more uh, hidden. I don't got much coverage. This way I do, but behind me. Not so much. So I'm really gonna have to watch my ass. We'll see what happens. Also, it's pretty freaking windy out, so thank God there's no uh, big dead trees around me. I've been hearing them crash all over, though. Well, right when I said thank God there's no trees that are around me that could fall. The big ass tree, this one right here, that one, the big ass limb just fell right next to me. A bunch of little limbs that are not dead above me so hopefully if another one were to fall it would divert the other way <laughs> oh man it's pretty freaking windy out here right now i don't like it 
just for your information I'm using a 3030 this is an old gun old old Martin 3030 and uh, it was my great great grandpa's rifle and it still shoots I mean I know everyone says it's about old, old guns and stuff but it shoots like freaking straight I never have to say it in I've said it in like once in the past 10 years she's, uh, she's old she's killed a lot of deer not from me <laughs> but from family and stuff also I get so amazed see these trees oh what the heck these trees are right up here there's some pretty gusty winds in those things it amazes me how far they can bend without breaking they're like literally we're just like that far over it's insane my first morning at the new spot and uh, I got lost so instead of trying to find my blind and keep on getting more lost I decided to sit down because if you get really lost out here you are really lost it's not uncommon for people uh, to get lost out here and spend the night so I know the truck's not too far away, and thank God I tagged the truck yesterday, or marked it before I left. So, I get a little bit of service up here, it's not great, but I, I know the general vicinity it's in. So. Alright, let's see what happens. I got, uh, got a, not a swamp, I've got like a valley behind me, a valley in front of me, and the valley to my right. I don't know if this is going to be a good spot, but I sure hope it is. See what happens. Well, the morning couldn't have gotten any... This morning couldn't have gotten any worse. What the fuck is that? Well, daybreak. I look to my right. I see a fucking car. I look behind me. I see a road. So I have no idea where I am. So I walked so I couldn't see the road and car anymore and pop the squat. I don't know where I am right now. Maybe that's the car. No. If that is the car, my dad's truck, then I have no idea what the hell just happened. I should check my marked location. If that's the case, I did like a, uh, like a big old circle, which would be wild. It's crazy thing about the woods, man. You get lost real quick in the morning, in the dark. Everything looks the same. If you don't mark your trees. That sucks. So, my chances of uh, getting that buck. There's like three scrapes next to the place I was going to hunt. Chances of getting that are pretty slim to none. Maybe I'll walk back to the truck and then make my way back there quietly. That's probably what I'm going to do. To hell with it. to look for my blind and I found it. It really wasn't too far away. Maybe a hundred yards away. That's quite a few. That's pretty far away, but <clears throat> this morning sucks.
factory is still kicking. See, it's one thing you're supposed to let them sit. When I kill a deer, it usually dies right away. I've only had two deer that didn't die right away. I hate letting them sit there and freaking suffer. But I also don't want to destroy all the meat that I can get from it, so what do you do? Oh, poor guy. Yeah, I gotta shoot him again. He's, I think he just broke his legs. a spike but it's my last morning I love hunting I love meat but if you don't feel anything from killing an animal there's something fucking wrong with you Young one. Oh, that ain't too bad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, uh, got her back to camp and probably gonna be taking off here shortly. Nice spike. I, I didn't realize how. I thought it was like a three inch spike. It's probably about a six or seven inch spike. Looks like a about two and a half year old, but who knows? Maybe older. It's weird that it didn't have any points coming off. It's a really tall spike, so it could be older, which is weird. There's nothing even coming in. Who knows? There it is. Last year I got skunked. This morning I said whatever comes in I'm taking because you can take two does in this area. I just want some venison. But I'm happy it was a little little buck or spike. It's not buck. But measure this out and see how, how long these spikes are. What do you think, Al? Well, I was gonna go to the Alpina, but honestly, I'm pretty tired. Haven't slept real good the past couple days, just because sleeping on cots and the floor, it's not too comfortable, especially when you got little Allie trying to get in your freaking sleeping bag. Allie's the dog that you guys haven't seen. Just freaking trying to sneak her way in the sleeping bag to stay warm. But, yep, there she is. There he is, just right in the back seat. So I'm going to take this to uh, home and I just talked to my buddy Cody. Uh, we're going to hang it at his house and then we're going to butcher it. So I've never butchered a deer in my life. So it'll be nice to figure out, or he knows how to obviously. So it'll be nice to learn how to do it so I can just do it myself. And uh, do all my own meats and packing and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. So well, just got a two and a half hour drive home now and probably should have went pee before I left because I already got to be been on the road 10 minutes. What a girl, eh? You sexist son of a bitch, Dan. Alright, see you around then, maybe. Maybe I'll do a whole video on it, butchering or something. Who knows? Alright.